Hey guys, it's Anna Dolosky. When my mother taught me how to chew with my mouth closed, I didn't know it was because she was a weirdo who hates the sound of chewing. Okay, she's really not, but according to science, some people really are. If the sound of chewing gum or slurping causes you to go bonkers, well, let us be the first to diagnose you. You, my friend, suffer from misophonia. So new research shows there's actually a neurological basis for this anger. A team of scientists in the UK studied reactions to various sounds among 42 people, half who have misophonia and half who don't. Scientists played annoying sounds like a crying baby, while study participants were hooked up to MRI scanners. With every intensified annoying sound, those with misophonia displayed very angry reactions to sounds. The areas associated with emotions, the prefrontal cortex, the hippocampus, and amygdala were extremely active in misophonics. So what scientists say about misophonics is their brains are literally wired differently than their blissful counterparts. Misophonia is sometimes mistaken for anxiety or bipolar or obsessive compulsive disorder. Some doctors even say it should be classified as a disorder. The bad news, it's not curable or treatable. Then there's the foodie, the ones who actually enjoy the sound of food. Yep, that's me. It's called the fajita effect. Scientists say certain sounds can enhance elements of food that's present. Like a sizzling fajita at your favorite Mexican restaurant could lead you to order the same thing. It's the perceived sound of what it may taste like that's appealing. Same goes for sizzling bacon or the sound of pouring fresh hot coffee. So if you're one of those people, congratulations, you're normal. Just don't celebrate too loudly next to those who aren't. To see more stories like this, like us on Facebook, visit our website, acsh.org. Don't forget while you're there, you can also subscribe to your latest dose of news delivered straight to your inbox. For The Council, I'm Anna Dolosky.